guys, it's Lee, and today I'm going to be making peanut clusters in the slow cooker. The ingredients you're gonna need for this are unsalted peanuts. You need 16 ounces of unsalted and 16 ounces of salted. And you're gonna take these, you have to put these in the crock pot in the order, or slow cooker, I mean, in this order. Peanuts first. Then you need two bags of chocolate chips. I'm going with one bag of milk chocolate and one bag of semi-sweet. You could mix it up. You could use peanut butter chips, I suppose. Maybe even the butterscotch chips. You know, whatever you think would taste good. So here are the milk chocolate. I'm putting those on top of the peanuts. And I'm putting the semi-sweet chocolate chips in as well and that's and those are just your regular 12 ounce bags and then lastly you need 32 ounces of white almond bark now these came in 24 ounces so I had to buy two bags you could also use 24 ounces of I mean 32 ounces of the white melting wafers so you just want to break up these little squares and stick them on top of the chocolate. So depending on your slow cooker, this could take anywhere from an hour to three hours. I'm going to put mine on one and a half and then I will come back and check it at that point. Put your top on and don't touch it. Don't open it, don't stir it, just let it go the way it is. Although you do want to check on it and make sure you don't smell anything. You don't want the chocolate to scorch and burn, definitely. But just keep a close eye on it, but don't lift that lid. Okay, so the time is up. I'm just going to mix. Oh, yeah, this is ready. So you just mix it all up. Then once you have it all mixed up, you want to drop it by spoonfuls, or you can use your handy-dandy cookie scoop onto parchment paper or wax paper, Stick it in the fridge until they have set. But what I'm going to attempt, and this might be a big mistake, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna try to put it in this mold that I got last year and in these molds that I got from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if it'll work because of the peanuts in it, but I figured it couldn't hurt to try. They're gonna taste the same no matter what, right? So I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm just going to take a spoonful, not quite sure just how much yet, and put it into the mold. Then I'm just going to use this chopstick kind of push it all down in there. And this will probably take forever. I turned my slow cooker back on for 30 minutes just to keep everything melty.
All right, so I have this mold filled. It's not very neat, and it's really more of a pain than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in the fridge. I'll fill these up, and then I'm just going to do little blobs on parchment paper for the rest of them. Okay guys, that was too hard and it was taking forever. So I've got my trusty scoop and I'm just going to scoop them out onto the parchment paper. And stick them in the refrigerator. I'm sure the ones I did will probably be cute. It's just that it was taking forever. So here are the candies after they've hardened. You can hear the animals walking around in the background. And here are the ones I just dropped with the scooper. So I'm going to see how these turned out. So I'm going to try to get these out of the mold. Look, it turned out great. Oh my gosh, these were so much work. But honestly now, I think I should have taken the time to put them all in the molds. Look how cute these are. They're so cute. I mean, they're not all perfect. That one's a little wonky, but still, they turned out adorable. I also put some in this penguin mold from the Dollar Tree. Look how cute. Aw, oh, man. Let's see, this one might be harder. Nope, look at them, they're adorable. Aw, oh, man, I should have. It was just so much work. Oh my gosh, getting them out is work. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Too adorable. And then these are the only other ones I put in the mold. So I got really tired of it. <laughs> And look, oh man, it's worth it. It's worth the hassle. Oh, well, I'll know for next time. Just do it. They turned out adorable. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are great too. I mean, these look delicious. I wish I could eat them. But these are like the cutest things ever. Look at these. So, if you have the molds, you can head to the Dollar Tree. They might still have the molds. You, they're ice, ice trays, ice cube molds, I think. Just go ahead and get them and try this. It's so easy. I mean, it's a little frustrating putting them in the molds, but beyond that, it's super easy. And if you don't want to put them in the molds, this is the easiest thing ever. They're perfect, and I'm sure they're delicious. All right, so once they've hardened, you just want to put them in an airtight container. I would leave them in the fridge. You don't really have to, but I think I would prefer leaving them in the refrigerator. I'm not really sure because I'm not an expert on chocolate. If you like this recipe and how adorable these turned out, give this video a thumbs up, please. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.